Hey guys, we are here with a little, hopefully what will be a short, quick tutorial for my creative year. Um, I announced at the beginning of the month that we were gonna work with monochromatic colors. Uh, and um, my thoughts behind that. And then I said I promised I would do some kind of tutorial and then I had computer issues. We had the wildfires here on the West Coast. You know, because COVID's not enough. <laughs> so anyway, it's been crazy. So it is the 23rd of September, my daughter's birthday, and I am just now getting to the tutorial. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I am taping off a page in this book. Now this is actually a watercolor book. I'm not a huge fan of the paper. I don't like the way it reacts to water media. Um, if, yeah, it's not, there's some interesting paintings I've done in here. Um, I really do like this piece I did for Mike Deacon's Mission Inspiration, but that being said, I wouldn't buy another one of these. Um, it does better with like pencil and pen than it does in my opinion with like watercolor paint. Um, we're gonna try acrylic paint in here because I don't think that's the one thing I don't think I've done yet, yeah. Um, so we're going to try it. I'm going to tape off four little sections and we're going to do four little paintings. This is just plain hardware store painter's tape. Nothing special. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So I have white and black paint. Now, to be fair, this white paint is actually white gesso. Uh, if you don't know what gesso is, think of it as primer for artwork. Um, it is tinted white, so it should work just fine. And then I have black. I'm using inexpensive craft quality paint, so you don't have to have anything fancy. But I have black and white to um, shade and tint um, my primary color. I've picked four primary colors because we're gonna do four paintings, one with each color. Um, so I have orange, purple, green, and yellow, all colors I would never use like on their own, uh, ever. Let's see, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Here we go. All right. So, and I have one of my inspiration journals out, and this is actually a picture of my face, which, you know, if I could, if I'm going to screw up anybody's face, let's just screw up my own. Um, <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is grab a, a paintbrush. Um, let me see. One that's less messed up than the others. This one works. I might grab a smaller one too. Okay. I tend to be a brush mixer, um, which isn't really the proper way to mix your paint, but that's what it is. I'm going to start with um, some of my orange. I'm going to put a couple of smaller, like three blobs. To one of the blobs, I'm going to put next to it some black. If I can get any black to come out, there we go. And next to the other one, I'm going to put some white. This white gesso has been in this bottle for literally for years. It was part of a travel kit and I'm surprised it's like not all dried up, but that being said, the lid's completely clogged up. So it needs to get used up. All right. So I've got my inspiration photo off to the side. I'm gonna start with mixing a dark shade of the orange or tone. And so I'm gonna actually mix the black and the orange together. One of the things I enjoy about water, I mean about acrylic paint is that you can really, you can start with your dark colors and work your way lighter, just dry everything in between. Um, with watercolor, you really have to be careful about how you put your paints on the paper. So I'm going to just sort of map out roughly
This is too big a brush. Let's let's go with the little one for this. Okay. This is a very abstracted copy of a picture of my face, which is fine. You could do something simple. You could do a flower, you could do You could do anything. Okay, I'm going to take some of the um, um, orange and I'm going to mix it in with some of the dark orangey black that we just made to get a lighter shade. And this is ivory black and primary orange, um, bright, oh, sorry, bright orange. See if I can get my features kind of mapped out on here. So I'm going to play and I'm going to experiment and I'm going to keep going like this, mixing my main color with white or, and or black to get different shades and tones. And I'm going to experiment doing my face four times. I'm going to speed forward through the process and I'll be right back.
Okay, so now we're gonna remove the tape. Very challenging to just stick with one color, even if you can mix it with black and white, because you're just so tempted most of the time to like grab another color grab the teal or grab the purple or, you know, whatever. Did you see that right there? Yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't like this paper. It's okay, I'll fix it. I'll put some gel medium on there. Glue it back, to, or Elmer's glue, and glue it back down. Okay, so we're gonna stick some glue on that little piece that lifted. We're gonna take some of the white gesso and fix this little smudgy bit over here. Because I seem to always get one section that goes under the tape. It never fails. That's more of a Gina painting and being really messy thing than it is a thing about this paper. This paper though just pills really easily and tears really easily. It's not very sturdy in my opinion. I think this journal is from Hobby Lobby, but I don't remember. But there you go. So for um, color studies, this is the original, um, which is a um, altered photograph of my face that I, I, I altered it in some different um, apps on my iPad and then printed it out and stuck it here in my face's reference book and I've used it before. Um, it's really challenging and interesting to figure out what you can do with just one color and then black and white. It's good practice and to learn your materials, to learn to refine your technique um, and even to work with a particular image to figure out um, how or uh, how you want to do it, what way you want to do it. Um, I really enjoy these kind of processes in my artwork and I encourage you to do the same. I would love to see what you can do with something like this in um, in the face in the group here on Facebook. Um, this video is just for you guys. It's not for anybody else. And um, do share um, what you're doing. If you have a question, comment, comment or concern, be sure to tag me in the post or one of the other admins. And... Um, don't forget to support the free content here in the Facebook group. Um, I, in particular, have ways you can support my content in my video description. The other admins and teachers have the same. So check it out. If you're not sure, ask. And above all, just go out and have a great time with it. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do, a, um, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And that's it for right now. Play with your monochromatic color tones and let's see what happens. All right, I'll, be, I'll see you in the next video.